Hello there, and welcome back for a new adventure. If you like our stories, feel free to encourage us by liking and subscribing. Now, are you ready to go on a new adventure with Fernando and his crew? Wrap yourself in your favorite blanket and get ready to set sail for the pirate seas under the starry skies. Today's story is called The Tale of the Healing Flower. In the heart of the Caribbean, nestled between lush palm trees and azure waters, lay the quaint village of Coconut Bay. A haven of tranquility, Coconut Bay was known for its friendly villagers and welcoming atmosphere. At the center of the village stood a figurehead of authority, Mayor Frank, a wise and respected leader who had guided Coconut Bay through calm seas and stormy weather alike. One day, a shadow fell upon Coconut Bay, as news spread that Captain Dullblade and his mischievous crew were sailing towards the village. Captain Dullblade, notorious for his unpredictable nature, had a history of leaving chaos in his wake. Rumors whispered that he sought something valuable in Coconut Bay, stirring concern among the villagers. Mayor Frank, a stout and wise man with a salt and pepper beard, gathered the villagers in the town square to discuss the impending arrival of Captain Dullblade. Tensions rose as uncertainty filled the air, and the villagers wondered if their peaceful existence was about to be disrupted. The winds carry tales of Captain Dullblade and his mischievous crew in our midst, Mayor Frank declared, his voice echoing through the square. We must prepare for the possibility of an attack on our peaceful haven. Fernando, hearing of the brewing tension, knew that assumptions could lead to unnecessary conflict. He stepped amidst the group of villagers. Villagers of Coconut Bay, let us not leap to conclusions. Captain Dullblade's motives might not be as sinister as they seem. I propose we open a dialogue and understand the truth before preparing for battle, Fernando urged, his eyes reflecting the spirit of diplomacy. Mayor Frank, acknowledging Fernando's wisdom, agreed to give dialogue a chance. The villagers, however, remained skeptical as they awaited the arrival of Captain Dullblade. Moments later, Captain Dullblade emerged from the dense forest, his crew trailing behind him. His face bore an unusual mixture of determination and concern. Fear not, good villagers. We come in peace. Captain Dullblade proclaimed, raising his hands in a gesture of goodwill. I seek a flower called Luminara Blossom. Legend has it that this rare flower possesses unique properties capable of soothing even the most stubborn of wounds, and I need it to heal a dear crewmate. We harbor no ill intentions towards Coconut Bay. The villagers exchanged wary glances torn between the tales of mischief associated with Captain Dullblade and the sincerity in his plea. Memories of the mischievous ruses employed by Captain Dullblade in the past lingered in the air, casting a shadow of doubt on his proclaimed quest for the elusive flower. Hesitation etched the faces of the villagers, their eyes reflecting a wariness born from tales of trickery and chaos. Sensing the need for further assurance, Fernando stepped forward. Let us help Captain Dullblade find this special Luminara Blossom. Together, we can ensure that his crewmate is healed and any misunderstandings are put to rest. Mayor Frank, after a moment of contemplation, nodded in agreement. I agree. Let this be a moment of understanding rather than conflict. We shall assist Captain Dullblade in his quest, and in doing so, forge a bridge between our community and the Mischief Maker's crew. The united group delved into the forest. Captain Dullblade led the way, 
sharing tales of his crewmates' adventures and the importance of the Luminara Blossom in the healing process. The once tense atmosphere began to dissipate as the villagers, guided by Isabella's keen navigational skills, and Captain Dullblade's crew worked in harmony. As they traversed through the lush vegetation, encountering obstacles and challenges, a sense of camaraderie blossomed. The villagers, once suspicious, now recognized the shared humanity that bound them with Captain Dullblade's crew. The journey through the forest became a symbol of cooperation, dispelling preconceived notions and fostering a newfound understanding. As the united group delved deeper into the heart of the dense forest, guided by Captain Dullblade and the coordinates provided by Isabella, the air became thick with suspense. The villagers, still hesitant, eyed Captain Dullblade's crew with cautious curiosity. Suddenly, amidst the foliage, the forest revealed its hidden treasure, a glimmering cluster of Luminara blossoms. The delicate petals emitted a soft, healing glow, casting a luminous enchantment upon the verdant surroundings. Captain Dullblade, with a reverent hush, approached the blooms. His crew and the villagers alike captivated by the ethereal beauty of the rare flowers. The discovery of the Luminara Blossom became a shared moment of wonder, and in its radiant glow, a bridge of understanding began to form between the once distrustful villagers and the mischievous crew led by Captain Dullblade. Returning to Coconut Bay, Captain Dullblade, with the healing Luminara Blossom in hand, expressed his gratitude. I may be mischievous, but my heart is with my crew. Thank you, Fernando, Mayor Frank, and the villagers of Coconut Bay for understanding the true nature of our quest. Mayor Frank, now enlightened and appreciative of the shared endeavor, replied, Let this be a lesson to all. Sometimes, a dialogue is the most potent weapon against misunderstanding. May the seas bless us with continued understanding and unity. As the sun set over Coconut Bay, the villagers and Captain Dullblade's crew gathered in the town square. A feast was shared, stories were exchanged, and laughter echoed through the night. The special Luminara Blossom, now a symbol of newfound friendships, stood in the center of the square, a testament to the transformative power of dialogue and compassion on the pirate seas. And so, under the starlit sky, Coconut Bay embraced a night of unity and understanding, leaving behind the shadows of suspicion that had once clouded their tranquil haven 